Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and we're continuing on with our OSPF series by showing you how to change the cost, the OSPF cost of a link by changing the bandwidth. So this is an indirect way of doing it. You usually don't want to do this because bandwidth affects a lot of other things including QoS, other routing protocols, and possibly even security. So, but yeah, we're going to do it on Router 1. And first of all, we're just going to verify that everything is still going through the bottom link. We're going to show IP route here. You can see here to get to 3.3.3.3, it's a cost of 2, and it's going through 13.3. So it's the other side of this fast Ethernet link. So we're going to go into ConfT, and this is an interface level command. So interface fast01. And the command is bandwidth. Let's do question mark, and you can see that, uh, let's see here bandwidth in kilobits a second. So normally for fast ethernet, it would be 100,000 kilobits a second, which equals 100 megabits a second. Here we're going to make it slower, just take off a zero, and that's going to make it 10 megabits a second equal to regular ethernet. And so what OSPF is gonna think is it's gonna say, okay, well, this link is a heck of a lot slower, so it's gonna cost more. So if it costs more, it's going to want to take the upper link versus the bottom link. So let's see if this works. We hit enter right there. Show IP route. And you can see here, okay, hasn't actually stuck yet. And now it's takes, sometimes it might take a couple seconds, but it usually should be fairly quick. And so now if it wants to get to 3.3.3.3, it's gonna go through the top link, which is 12.2, so router two and now the cost is three. So let's see what the bottom link cost is. So we're going, we're going to do show IP OSPF interface, and the bottom link, as we expected, is now a cost of 10. So because we made it 10 times slower, it's going to cost 10 times more. So the total cost here now is instead of a one here, it's actually going to be a 10. So 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. And just to verify that, what we're going to do now is, uh, well, let's kill the link on router 2. So we're going to go into fast 00, so conf t interface fast 00. We're going to actually shut this down. So with this link shut down, boom, router 1 can no longer send to router 2 because it's not going to get there and eventually router one's gonna decide, hey, I'm gonna to go to router three. Ping 3.3.3.3, we get there, so it must be going through the bottom link, show IP route, 3.3.3.3, and cost is 11. Just as we expected, it's the cost of 10 plus one is 11. All right, so that was a quick, really quick video of how to change the OSPF cost indirectly by changing the bandwidth statement. Thanks a lot.